Jesse, you're currently training for Bobby Patton, um, but we're going to go back to the start and go to Canada where you grew up. So, and I believe you didn't grow up in a, a horse family, correct? That wasn't. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Your experience. So, uh, how did you get started? Well, uh, so my uh, my uncle, I guess, ha um, had cutting horses, uh, Gary Treseder, and he would come for Christmas and visit. And I remember he brought uh, VHS of, uh, uh, I think, Kathy Dawn winning the fraternity on Royal Fletch. And uh, I remember watching that, and that was the first time I'd ever seen cutting. And and uh, he brought a VHS of a horse he owned, Smart Little Baggins, that Jerry Hansma had trained. And uh, I saw that and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And uh, he'd given my mom a horse. So Brian and Cheryl Law, uh, I'd go over there. I got my first job uh, working for them when I was about 10 and uh, cleaning stalls. And I was too small to open the stall doors, so my dad would have to drive me uh, to work on Saturdays uh, to open and shut the stall doors while I cleaned all the stalls. And uh, I remember thinking it was just so cool to have a job. I think they uh, paid me $15 to clean all the stalls. Wow. and uh, good for tenure. Oh, I, it was great. <laughs> it was great. And, uh, and then I'd sit there. started going out west uh, when I was about... 14 years old and my for the summers and my uncle introduced me to Jerry Hansma and I, I remember at like uh, that last year of high school I went and worked at Jerry's for the summer and I was so nervous that he would not hire me full time because uh, I wanted to be a cutting horse trainer so bad and uh, and Jerry I I remember he was you know uh, just the coolest person you ever will meet and I remember working for him and and just like I try to do everything like he was doing you know if he wore his hat a certain way I try to wear my hat the same yeah uh, he had a beige hat so I have a beige hat uh, I just like mimicked him in any way uh, if he was walking in the snow I'd try to like walk like him you know yeah. and yeah. uh uh, you know, borderline creepy, you know, I think is what, what, what I was going for. And uh, so I'm working for him that summer and I'm so nervous that he's not going to hire me full time. And I'm asking him like every day. Aries, they would kind of coach me on how to approach the girls that worked at the Sobeys, uh, which is a Canadian um, grocery store. And so I go in there every night and try to get a date and uh, it's just striking out. You know, and I'm just like, holy jeez, you know, what, what does that guy have to do? Um, and I, I couldn't get anywhere. And then uh, in the produce section, one night I met a girl named Ruth, and she agreed to go out with me. And, uh, and so I'm so nervous and I'm so excited. And uh, I get to the restaurant, and we're having a great deal, and, and I asked her about working at the grocery store, and she said, oh, no, I don't work at the grocery store. I'm a stripper. And so, ah, this, this date's awesome. Excellent, you know, and so we're having good conversation and, and tr kind of train my first group of three-year-olds to show at the fraternities up there, and, and uh, I remember... Uh, one night I'm walking by the front office and to get my free complimentary lolly and uh, the guy that manages the hotel says Jesse how much do you think you all spend when you go to those cuttings oh shoot I don't know about probably 10 grand a weekend and I don't never win and uh, he goes well just so you know, you might want to find a new place to live because the bank's fixing to own this place. <laughs> so I uh, packed all my stuff into my 93 Toyota Camry. And uh, like later that week, uh, Jenna Hunt called me with, uh, I, think, I think we're there three months. I came in October and uh, after fraternity, uh, we didn't make the semis and the whole ranch got sacked. Uh, and uh, I had, in Canada, you know, we're not really, uh, 
we don't really win, worry about who's winning or winning or not. It's all about having fun. And I just, in three months in America, I, I got really the taste it. that that wasn't, you know, how it was here. Um, so, I mean, that's really an extraordinary start in the cutting, um, mm -hmm. considering that there, you had no background and it was just your enthusiasm and drive that really got you really quickly, actually, to a place. And Ruth. Um, and Ruth. And, and Ruth. I'm just glad, I'm glad in your story you said you blew your money on entries, not on Ruth. I'm That's right. <laughs> that. No, I lost Ruth that night. Well, well, <laughs> Ruth lost Erica's game. So, so now, Erica, you had a totally different um, entrance into cutting because you grew up with it. You know, you have that pedigree, really. Your father, uh, Ascension's a trainer. Your brother's um, a trainer, Adan. Your sister cuts. You mm -hmm. cut. Um, so talk about what it is when that's really been your whole life, like that childhood. Um, for, so, I mean, an incredible uh, childhood. Um, so much fun. But I actually w did was not in love with it as yeah. a kid. I was mm -hmm. like the last one that wanted to come to the barn. I hung out with my grandmother at the house and liked to do all the things she was doing, sewing, like, cooking and and that sort of stuff and then uh, just little by little um it, i didn't know he was here from canada i didn't notice him i think i was in my own world <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's lovely <laughs> yeah. yeah i, I, yeah, I, didn't, like I just the grocery I didn't, store again <laughs> yeah i didn't i don't know i think i was just too much in my own world and then but when we when i did notice him i was like Who's this guy? He's <laughs> um, and around, you know, some amazing trainers. So what what have you learned? And then you've had your own career. What have you learned from um, Erica over that time? Well, uh, you know, it's always most pressure to ride her horse um, because <laughs> uh, luckily with Alice and with uh, Bobby, I'm I'm their trainer. Um, so I know, but. Uh, you know, with, with her, she has a lot of options. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, if I don't act right, you know, it's going to go to her brother or dad or her uncle.